and we'll get the frame kit for the chassis kit. So just a look inside here. So obviously this is where we've got the frame. That's a round of a frame there. So obviously there's two sides. So the next thing I'm going to have to get done is obviously uh, these are all the screws, rod ends, all nice and itemised. Everything's itemised, but obviously you don't get no instructions. So we've got those there, and then we've got those rod ends here. So the axles are the Vanquish design from AliExpress. This means that the front pumpkin is offset. So our next stage of the axles is to put the kit on. So they call this uh, CNC upgrade kit. So it's uh, the battery mount. Servo moment. So this is the rear kink, the rear link. The, the front link. So here we have her with the uh, gearbox then. So this is the Rhino transmission box. Okay, another sticker. So I think we've got a, a nine tooth pinion gear there. Apparently it is supposed to be already greased up and uh, just ready to go. So we've got in here. This is uh, another base for it. So obviously it depends on what type of rig that you're building or what type of chassis you've got as to whether you need to mount it on, on here. Or mount it in between these two. I think for the Rhino build, we mount it in between these two smaller ones.
So I think that's the way it goes. I'll uh, I will have to just do a quick check. But uh, so that's the gearbox. So the next thing is the brushless motor that I've got. So I've got an 1800 kV motor. This is the S20 brush, brushless motor. So these come uh, ready to put your own bullets on. So, got bullets to put on that, cut them down to length. Then I'm going to put on the, uh, the 80 amp. So, if you haven't seen one of these before, this comes again ready to put bullets on. And then it comes with uh, uh, the on and off button, which is a waterproof button. This, however, this is not waterproof, so you just got to be careful where you mount that. And then at the other end here, we've got the adapter that you plug into your PC to program the card up. So we need to obviously get these cut down and soldered up as well when I. Uh, decide on the exact positions so these are the shock absorbers so 95 millimeters long and uh, three sets of springs that you get with them up individually so we've got number eight number nine and number tens so what I've been looking at on here and I found is that we use 0.9s for the front and try number 8s for the rear so that's where we're going to try for starters so that's the shockers then so the other thing that I'll be needing is this kit here this is a, the drive shafts Three drive shafts. And those come with the uh, two little grub screws and two uh, little grub screws in a separate little pocket. This one here. So we've got obviously one for the front, one for the back. And then we've got the intermediate, which goes onto this adapter here. So this goes halfway across the chassis. Um, it's just like a through connector. So one other thing that I've got to go on this build is these wheels. So these are carbon front and aluminium space bars. 
there is a little bit of an offset in that middle as well. Uh, I'm just going to have to see, obviously, how much offset I do need and what of it. With these as well, the screws, uh, I don't know if you can see properly there, the screws go very deep in there. So you've plenty of room there for if you need any weights or anything. Um, so on these uh, 2.2s, and these work out at 50 grams a piece. So obviously I've got weight my tyres and everything on them. So these look nice. So these are from Fimonda. So these are Fimonda wheels. So, the other thing I'm going to put on this build is this here. So this is a, a six channel Dumbo RC receiver. Uh, I use the Dumbo's, they're nice and easy to use with one hand. They're relatively cheap and I think these are, I don't know, less than $10, something like that, six pound. Uh, seven pound so and they're a good little unit so I'll be using that and then the last things the tires so these are my tires so I've got some Ibex 2.2 predators so I've got the predators over here uh, these are the better ones for the uh, the colder weather uh, and the G8s apparently are the better ones for warmer weather so as I live uh, over here in England, we've always got cold weather. So I thought I'd try these ones. So these are wheels, uh, tyres, sorry. And I'm going to put these along with some uh, uh, printed no forms and uh, see how we get with them. So these are the no forms. That I've got to give a go and try. So they feel nice and soft, but obviously, proof will be in the trying. So here we have all four wheels and tyres on and ready. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next part of this build.